G'day guys, Source 20 here and welcome back to City Skylines Industries. Today we're going to take a look at the industrial main buildings. Now these are the buildings you place down in an industrial area that then turn those areas into the specialist industry. And those main buildings are all unique and they actually level up and change as the industrial area improves and grows. When I first plopped down Rosewood farmland, it was only at a level 1. But as the city has been expanding and as I've been adding to this farm, the farm has leveled up and now it's at a maximum of level 5. To find out more information about this, you can click on the industrial area which opens up a window that shows you all the stats. Up top, and I can see that nothing's imported, everything's homegrown. I can see where crops are going and how much money is made from animal products and flowers. And down below, gives you a pretty good idea how much profit you're making and how many people are on site. However, Rosewood Farmland is at a level 5 because it's actually a pretty good industrial area. It's in a great location, there's plenty of workers around, and the production is keeping up with the demand. Unfortunately, I can't see the same for Walnut Pits. It's been stuck on level 3 for ages, and we've produced enough resources, but the worker count is still under 500, which means I'll probably have to zone some residential around this area. Now, any logical player would do that. However, I'm the sort of player that values the aesthetics of his city rather than the functionality of it. So I'm going to waste all my money building all industry somewhere else. When I place down a new main building, I always make sure it's on a main road so that service vehicles can access it pretty easily. And voila, a new industrial area has been built. And you can actually see the difference between the level 1 main building and the level 3 building, which is pretty cool. And who knows, maybe the next time you watch this, it'll be a level 5 main building. But I guess we'll have to see what happens. I'll see you then.